Brit. <laughs> That's lettuce. <laughs> welcome back to our channel. So welcome back to our channel. What's up, guys? It's Brit and Rachel. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're just doing a quick little video. We're going to be baking. Usually it's in the kitchen with Rachel, but I guess today we're gonna include Brittany. So today <laughs> we are making Rice Krispies. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all our ingredients. We have some cooking spray, marshmallows, butter, Rice Krispies, mm -hmm. parchment paper, a pan, some, He's about to be litty. So keep watching and come with us on our journey to see if we can make these things. Because I can, but when Brittany helps me in the kitchen, it is a total mess. So hopefully these come out. So <laughs> we're going to do this. Anyways. So I usually make Rice Krispie treats like without a recipe. I just add until my Mexican ancestors told me to stop. But we're gonna follow a recipe today. I found this Rice Krispie treats. Um, it is on Pinterest. I believe it is by, it's by Sugary Sweets. So we're just gonna follow her recipe and see how they come out. It says that you're supposed to add some vanilla extract, but I don't have any today. So we're doing it besides we're doing it without that. So the ingredients are six tablespoons of unsalted butter. We have blue bonnet butter. It's going to work. A 16 ounce bag of mini marshmallows divided. Vanilla extract, which we don't have. And then, of course, Rice Krispie cereals. So that's a tablespoon. Um, so then, you know, I'll just go through. No. A tablespoon. Okay. It's a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but we don't have that, so we're not adding it. Stop interrupting. I'll interrupt, bro. <laughs> Anyways, um, then of course, once we get everything situated, we're gonna line it into um, our baking dish that I showed you earlier with some parchment paper. That way it doesn't stick to the pan and get all ugly. Um, and I think, and then it says allow to set about one hour, cut and enjoy. But we don't wait that time, we just eat right away, so. Let's get Rachel. started. Rachel does. She's unpeached and peached. Can you get the other butter out? Because I don't think we're going to have enough here. Okay. So, I need a spatula. I can't believe it's not butter. Um, that's sure. not what we got, but we have Hill Country Fair Country Spread. Okay. So, you are going to do six tablespoons. We're going to put it into our pan. Wait, wait! I have this. Let me see. Okay. You can scoop and I'll do this. Oh, a one. A two. It sounds like you just cartoon sneezed. Babe, this segment is just supposed to be my segment. In the kitchen with Rachel is obviously in the kitchen with Rachel, not Brittany. What number was that? Oh, you have a two. A four! <laughs> <laughs> if you're a cook, you should know what number you're on. I Keep up with your numbers. Well, I'm sorry that you're distracting. A five. Alrighty then. Look, guess what? We had enough. We did? Yeah. Okay, we didn't need the other stuff. So many. One more. I never follow recipes. I just add until I'm ready. A six. So, we are going, we have our butter here. We're just going to let it melt. And then once it melts, you know, then you add your marshmallows, I think. I'll read the recipe right now. Okay, so, let me turn this up a bit. But, but. In a large saucepan. Wait, we're going to need some. And you just dropped a marshmallow on the floor. 
Um, I'll line the parchment paper baking dish in a second. It's like a child. It's literally like having a child. In a large saucepan, melt butter over medium heat. Once melted, add in all but one cup of the marshmallows. Oh. Do we have another measuring cup? Use this one. This one's not gonna be I'm gonna use it for the cereal. Did you drop my bottle wraps in? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're having a lot of technical difficulties here. This video is not gonna be the greatest, apparently. I need the marshmallows. Okay, I was gonna put the, a cup in it. Which is like right there. Because that's two cups. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in something else. Oh, so oh, you're so nice. Okay. Let our butter melt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me turn this up. It's at medium heat. That's okay, medium. we're done with the butter? Yes, we are. Okay, as soon as this melts, you know, that'll be fantastical. If you guys like In the Kitchen with Rachel, and I guess today's In the Kitchen with Rachel and Brittany, Kitchen with Rachel and Brittany, let us know down you below. You like here better. Give us a like, comment down below, let us know if you want to see more of these videos. Um, and if you do, let us know what you want us to make next. You don't stop making a mess. I'm not making a mess. I'm opening stuff. I knew where the kitchen scissors were. Yeah, well, I don't know where the kitchen scissors are, so. I feel like there's a faster way to heat up this butter. In the microwave? No. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're doing. But that would have been the fastest. You oh. fucking donut. Yeah, but you can't make marshmallows in the microwave. I love her excuses. Okay. Um, melt butter, once melted, add in all but one cup of the marshmallow. We don't have vanilla extract. We can add a little bit of powdered sugar, because it'll melt. What do you think? I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. I don't, we don't cook have here. vanilla extract. Which I have a key. Soy a key. Usually you're supposed to sift this, but I'm not much of a sifter. So you know how you put it through the thing and you do this so that way it's like fine. I have one of those. You can use anything, ma'am. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix it all until the marshmallows have. Babe, can you, there you go. I was gonna say, can you grab the tripod, but. Yeah. Oh, I can. All right, so we're just gonna mix up our marshmallows until they're all completely melted. I think I'm gonna add just a bit more powdered sugar in this. I like powdered sugar to make things a bit sweet. A bit more? Yeah. Hey, you just said you're not a cook. You don't know how it works, so don't question That my, is a lot more. Don't question my authority. All right. Here you go. So I don't want it to burn. Okay, once they all melt, we are going to remove. Babe, you want to help me? Do you know how to line the pan with parchment paper? I was doing the Rice Krispies. <laughs> okay, but you're gonna need the. We're, We're gonna, gonna need to. Okay, so it's just like putting foil in the pan, except where's our um, kitchen spray? The one I just had, the butter one. Okay, so you're gonna spray the pan 
just a little bit so that way the parchment paper can stick. That's good. Obviously. I feel like this would have looked so much better with fruity pebbles. Does it look like milk? It looks like, it's like yellow milk. Thickiness. I'm just making sure that all the marshmallows are completely dissolved. Well, not dissolved, melted. Okay, so before you add the Rice Krispies, we have to take this off the heat. And it looks like they are all melted. So we're gonna take this off the heat. Try it. Okay, so we need six cups of Rice Krispies. I think it's kind of messed up, but we've had it for so long so we know where they go. So this is a four cup measuring, so you're gonna put it up to here, and then you're gonna do two after that. Okay. Give me a little bit more. A little bit more. There, 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 there. Perfect. So this is four. And then up to two, which is right there. Just hold on. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay. So we're done with these? Yes. So we have put in the Rice Krispies. Now I'm going to move it over here. Please disregard our breakfast from this morning. And we're just gonna mix it all together. Oh, and you know what? Where are the other marshmallows, babe? I have them. Okay, we need to add them in. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Those are mine. Okay. So you just mix everything all together. This already smells so good, like delicious. Just make sure that everything has, <laughs> I don't know if you watch Schitt's Creek, but you just fold it in like this. For those of you who've seen Schitt's Creek fold and don't know. Fold the cheese down. And who don't know what folding the cheese means, it's literally this, folding it in. Wow, this looks so good. I'm ready to already enjoy. Okay. Looks like it's pretty good. It's all pretty well incorporated here. It's all super sticky ready to go. Babe, look at this. I'm looking. Doesn't it look so good? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a little taste test. be a little bit sweeter but that's where the vanilla extract would have come in I didn't want to put too much powdered sugar because as you saw Brittany's reaction originally she freaked out you tripping okay so now we're gonna pour we're gonna spray our hands with butter Mm 
Yeah, it feels really gross. You know what we should have done was before we sprayed our hands with butter, we should have put the Rice Krispies in the pan. Oh. Uh, all oh, right. Well, okay. So, then we got to put the Rice Krispies in the pan. Do you want to do it? We don't need this. Yes, we do because it's still a little bit hot. Literally. I guess we should have done it the other way so that way they can see all the goodness, but it's okay. Sorry, guys. We're new to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So whatever is left, we're just gonna scoop. Okay, so you're usually supposed to wait till it's a little bit cool to do this, but we don't have patience around here. So as you can see, Brit's just placing it in. We're just shaping it to the pan. It's a little warm, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have to take it off. You just, like this. You want me to spray your hands again? On the side of the parchment paper, just like that. Here, let me help you. Put your hands out. I got your back, Jack. You got it. You got it? Sure. Mm -hmm. So you see how sticky this is, guys? It's because it's still super warm. So. Yeah, see, it's still sticking to the spoon. Oh my God. Sad days. Okay. So I'm just going around the edges and like laying it out. Making sure that it's all good together. It's starting to cool just a little bit, um, but we are going to have to, geez. We are going to have to cool it in the fridge for a little bit before we can cut it. That way it can keep its shape. I know I said earlier we weren't going to, but I didn't realize how sticky this was gonna be. It's usually never this bad. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna stick this in the fridge and we'll be back to show you what it comes up. Oh my god. Hurry up! The Rice Krispies in the freezer, just so that way we can speed it up a little bit. Brittany's obviously washing our dirty dishes. So um, we'll be back probably in like, it says an hour if we do it in the fridge. So I guess cut that time in half. Maybe like 15, 30 minutes. We'll be back so that way you can see, but we're not gonna keep you guys on here to wait that long with us. So we'll be back right now. Hey guys, so these are done. We have taken them out of the freezer. Don't they look just delicious? Yum. So we're gonna take them out of the pan. I got that side. Ugh, our table's gonna get a little messy, but I'm done. Okay. I got a knife so that way we can cut them and fry them. Let me just get all these. All right. Do you want to do the honors? Sure. Okay. Yum! All right, we're gonna try these. Look at this deliciousness. All right, cheers. Really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think 
I think I probably use a little bit more marshmallows. I don't think that vanilla extract really would have made these taste a little bit more sweeter. They taste sweet. They're good. I think the vanilla extract would have made them taste like, like the Rice Krispies you buy in the package. I feel like that's all that's missing here. But these are bomb. Like, I live for these. Okay, so these came out pretty bomb. Like, yeah. really good. And really sticky, too. Like, not sticky, like gooey. And the ones I've made before haven't ever been that gooey. So, I love ah. the down below, we're going to link the, what is it called? Ingredients. The Re sweet recipe. followed, yeah, recipe. We're going to link the recipe from Sugar Sweets we got off Pinterest. So that way, if you guys want to make this yourself or recreate it, it's going to be down there. Um, and we'll also put in the description what you know what ingredients we had or we're gonna put down in the description <laughs> what ingredients we had uh, or what ingredients we used so that way you guys can uh, follow along so if you guys do recreate this um, or you add your own little twist to this when you do recreate it we have a Facebook page it's Brit and Rachel or if you follow us on our social medias already definitely tag us in the pictures so that way we can see you know what you guys created um, if you did like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, I know we usually just do In the Kitchen with Rachel, but today we did In the Kitchen with Britt and Rachel. So if you want us to make some more things, it could be dessert, it could be dinner, it could be whatever, um, let us know down below and we will definitely make that happen for you guys. Yep. Thanks so much so for watching. Much Bye. Bye.